Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, I'm going to cover project templates in FL Studio. So this is actually how I'm starting out my projects every time. So to open up a new template, you just go to File, New from Template, and you can choose the different template that FL Studio comes with. So why do you use templates? And this is basically because you want to use or you want to start your project each and every time the same same way kind of. Um, and what I mean by that is to uh, let's say that you use some different plugins every time. You don't want to set up all of the different setups for that for those plugins every time you want to start a project, because let's say that you are into that kind of uh, creative statement and you just want to create music so let's say uh, you always uh, want to create chords within with a certain like piano plugin for instance then you can have that piano plugin set up you can have that rooted to let's say a reverb or an echo and then you can have limiters and you can have different stuff on the master for instance and if you have that set up as a project template you just open up the project template and you're good to go you can just start to create your chord progressions and and stuff like that without having to open up the piano and create the rootings for your reverbs or other things like that and fl studio comes with different project templates so as you can see here i have uh, the edm slash house template open up and this is a really, really nice uh, project template, I think, because um, it's already organized within the playlist. As you can see, there are different colors for different stuff here. You have a kick, snare, hi-hat cymbals, and that is inside a drums group, for instance. And now it's just a matter of me to um, open up the channel rack here. I can um, import different audio to these tracks here in, ch in the channel rack or I can just create a new one and set that up to uh, the mixer channel. So as you can see here, if I go to the mixer channel, it's the, all of the channels here are already set up. So I can just, uh, let's say, uh, create a new instrument here and I can just group that to whatever mixer channel I want. Um, and let's say that I have a riser, for instance, I can just take a riser from my samples here and just put it on this track and it's already rooted to one mixer channel and it's already named and colored and then i can just put that um, clip onto the riser here which is already grouped to the fx uh, group so i don't have to create groups and i don't have to actually name or color anything here and you're not doing this because you don't like want to uh, rename your tracks or rename your playlist uh, or patterns or anything it's not that you you want to have your project template because you want to start your project as fast as you can because let's say that you have a corporation in your head and you want to have that corporation um, like created in your track and you want to let's say you want to create a big full song out of it and um, then you're creating a new project without anything and you're just you have to um, open up a piano roll you have to open up or choose a plugin for that piano and in that time you may forgot about your corporation that you had in your head or you just uh, you're just stuck with different technical stuff that and that can get your creative ideas out of the way you know um, so it's a lot better to have your project template and you don't you don't need to use the FL Studio's built-in project templates so let's say that you have um, you have all of these uh, templates here but let's say that you're using some plugins that you you like you know and uh, they are not in this these templates that that FL Studio comes with you can just create a new template or a new FL Studio project file if you want to then you can create your routings, you can create your tracks like this, and uh, you can set up different mixer channels as well. Then you can just save this template, or you can save this project as it is without any sounds or anything. You can just have plugins, you can have different names, you can have colors like this one, you can have it organized like that, but without anything in the playlist. If you have it like that, you can just go to File, Save As, and then 
let's say that I want to uh, create a template. Then you can just go to templates here and you can save it as it is. So let's say my own template here and I save it in the folder of templates, which should be in the FL Studio uh, folder. So if I create it like that, if I save it here, so if I now restart FL Studio, as I done in the background here, I can go to File, New from Template, and this is my own template. And now it will load up with this uh, template that I, that I created, for instance. So I really recommend you to create a brand new project. Okay, so let's create a new one. And we want a new one, so we don't want anything else. And uh, you can do that by go to Minimal here, and just an empty. So this is totally empty. It doesn't contain anything. And first of all, I would set the tempo. So use the tempo that you're most familiar with, that you're creating the most tracks with. For instance, I create a lot of progressive house music, and sometimes I create slower tracks, I create faster tracks sometimes, but most often I'm most comfortable with 128 BPM. So I set it up like that, and then I can go to this different playlist and tracks in the playlist. So what I can do here is to rename color and icon. So the first one would be the kick drum. I always color the kick drum in red like that. And then we have different drums. So I would just do drums, uh, drum tracks in orange. And I would create drums one, drums two, same color like, like that, and drums three. So what I mean by this is now that I can, I have this set up here, I can just throw in different samples from the browser here. Let's say I want a kick drum, I can just put in a kick drum here, just drop it there. Same thing goes with different drums. So if I would have to have um, one more drum section, for instance, I can just create that track. But it's nice to have something to start out with. So now I can just throw in different samples without having to like worry about, uh, let's say that, where should I put the drums? Or I put the drums here and then I put some piano like sound here and it starts to get not organized, you know? But if you put it like this and you have, um, have a nice like starting point where you can just organize things, it will be a lot easier then to clean up the project and, you know, create a new, fresh, organized project. So I would do the same thing here. Let's say that I want some synth sounds. I uh, Let's do it like this in this color. Um, piano, I always use a piano sound. 